Hi there, I'm Karen McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. Today's Friday when we do some crafting and today we're going to take just little containers. This is eye drops and this is um, just a, a supplement that I had. We're going to turn these into the cutest little gnomes. So before we get started, I want to thank my subscribers and tell you that we are over 300 now. And I'm so excited because my next goal is 500. And if you've been watching, you know that when I hit that goal, someone who's been making comments will receive a little goodie package from me. So let's get sharing and commenting and all of that. And let's hit that goal so I can send out a surprise. So let's get going on today's video. All right, we're going to recycle here. I love recycling and keeping stuff out of the trash. So Dollar Tree has these cute little hats, little scarecrow hats. So we're going to make some scarecrow gnomes. And the first thing we have to do is for what I'm doing, I'm going to put them over these dropper containers because I don't want it just sitting on top of, let's see if I have like a, just a, like a little bottle like this. I don't really want it sitting like that. I think it might look kind of funny. So I found these dropper bottles and there's styrofoam in here. So all I'm gonna do is very carefully, so I don't hurt myself, just cut an X in that styrofoam, making sure that I don't go all the way to the edge. And then I'm just gonna take this paintbrush and I'm gonna poke a hole fairly far in there and then just widen it. so that I can, now this dropper was very flimsy and I guess I didn't put it, I, I took a little stick and I'm going to get my wire cutters. Yep, they're there. And I'm just gonna come over and I'm going to just cut that down a little bit. I can use two of these uh, because it's, when it's flimsy, it won't go, you can't even push it in here. But now that I've got the stick, I can push that in and I'm going to take it back out a little ways and bring my glue gun over here and just put some glue so that it stays and push it as far in as I can. I'm going to hold it for a little bit till that glue starts to cool. If I let go too soon, it's not going to stick. Oh, I have, I have an itch that I can't scratch right now because I can't let go. Oh good, it went away. <laughs> Doesn't that always happen? Okay, there we go. And I don't need to keep that stick, so whoop, I've got glue strings all over. So now I'm gonna put some glue on the inside. I just wanna make sure that this bottle does not come open. I probably should have done that first. Well, it's glued on, or, or it's screwed on far enough. Okay. I'm going to do that for, oh, I already did this one. And that is a much more, well, I guess it's pliable, but I didn't need to put a stick in that one. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue in here. You can take the dropper out or leave it in. It doesn't really matter. Since I don't have a use for it, I'm just gonna leave it in. There we go. Put some glue in here. Just hold it on. I don't, I'm not going to do the third one right now, I don't think. We'll see. Oh, not staying on quite yet. Let me put a little bit more glue up there. Isn't it fun watching glue dry? <laughs> or cool, actually. Looks like I need to put a little bit more on this side also. Just want to make sure that that's on there really good. These are probably going to the bazaar with me this weekend. And we've, <laughs> my, I have a friend who makes the Highland cows. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. And she was making the hooves and the horns out of clay, air dry clay which is kind of fragile, which isn't a problem, except people would consistently come over and pick it up by the horn and it would break. Or little kids would come over and want to play with them. So we try to get things as durable as possible, but you know, not all things are made to play with. So this bazaar, she's going to have a sign. <laughs> Please do not play with, do not lift with the horn. Okay, 
just to fill that part in just a little bit, I just have some batting that someone gave me. People know I do crafts, so when they're cleaning things out, they're like, hey, can you use this? Very seldom do I say no, because you never know. All right, I am going to just put some glue along there, and I'm just going to wrap that around. Probably a couple of times. I'm just going to get it up in there. And I don't need a whole lot, so let's cut that off. Okay, whoops. I'm just going to glue that together so that it stays in the owl. Don't glue your finger. I do have finger protectors, but they make me even more clumsy than <laughs> I already am. Okay, this one's going to be, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to grab my box of scraps from all my beards so I have beard beard fur over here I have like three projects going on here so I don't have a lot of room on my table okay this one I'm just going to do I'm trying to get fall colors I think I'm going to do some um, sunflowers on this one so I'm going to cover it <coughs> excuse me with this yellow fleece <clears throat> oh, I got some. It must be fur fuzz. Let me just cut this a little bit. <clears throat> yep, got something up my in my throat. Okay. All right, so I can cut it here. I just kind of I don't um, measure with a tape measure or anything. I just kind of size it to fit I guess you would call it now that is much straighter so let's just yeah I don't care about this seam because the fur is going to cover it I mean the beard Whoop. oh I moved my <laughs> I moved my glue sticks I had to bring something over here to take a picture. I'm having trouble taking my pictures because I don't have good lighting. It'll look really light until I take the picture and then it's dark because I guess my lighting just, so I've got to come up with some different lighting. So I brought it over here where it had a little bit more light and then forgot to move things back. I have a hanging light somewhere, an extra one. I know I saw it when I was going through stuff, getting ready for a garage sale, but can I remember where it is? You know, do you ever do what I do? I put things in really good places so that they don't get lost and then I forget where that really good place was. Yeah, that would be me. Okay, and then I am just going to cut it even with the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> if it gets out of my way so I can see where the bottom is. And I will just run a bead right along the bottom of the bottle so that that's on there nice and tight. Looks like one part already is. Trim that part off a little. Okay. All right, so let's see what, I've got all kinds of colors of beard. How about that? Let's see what we've got. I like to use um, brown for fall gnomes. I think I'm gonna use this brown for this one. So, I don't, I don't want, you can put the beard all the way around. I don't really want to do that. I just want it about that big. So if you've never cut this stuff before, you have to, oops, I got stuff. You have to be really careful. You can't just 
cut it straight across like that because you will blunt cut the fur and it just, it won't look good. So if you're buying some at the store, make sure, I mean, it's, I hate to be bossy at a store, but so often I've had people just cut it straight and I lose about that much of whatever I've purchased because it doesn't have that, it doesn't have this, it's just straight, which you don't want that. You want a feathered look for your beard. Anyway, I hope that made sense. Okay. So they either cut it with an X-Acto knife or they have to just go right under this fabric backing and not cut through the fur itself. <laughs> I don't know about your stores right now, but like Walmart, they don't even carry this stuff anymore. But when they did, they were so short staffed that when you needed some fabric cut, you might get someone from hardware or the hunting department. And they, they were always very grateful when I showed them how to do it. One guy said, oh no, I just cut a big piece for someone the wrong way. Okay, so I am going to make a little hem at the top because this will probably show a little bit. I've got hot glue on my fingernail and everything is sticking to it. Okay, just run a little bead. And now I am going to, no, I'm not gonna get a finger protector because they're with my hot glue sticks on the other side of my stuff that's sitting here. So I'm probably gonna get some on my fingernails, but that's okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot. This piece already has a hem on the side. I wonder what I was doing. Well, anyway, I wonder if I cut that off. Yeah, if I cut that off, it's still gonna be wide enough. I'm gonna cut that off because it's gonna kind of mess me up. I want to, you know, make a, a V shape at the bottom of the beard. And I don't think I'd be do that very easily with this hem on the side here. <laughs> Can't get under there. My X-Acto knife is not super sharp right now, so that's why I don't want to use it. When I do gnome workshops, the, shops, the, the thing that takes me the longest is cutting the fur. Come on. Okay. I can probably use that for a little mustache somewhere. Alrighty. So now I am going to just get a marker and just mark the center there. And then I'm just going to cut just up to well, where those little dots are. I don't know if you can see those. So we are having quite the fire season. I didn't think we were going to this year because we got so much moisture at the beginning of the summer. I mean, summer didn't even hit us until the middle of July this year. And we were so hopeful, but no, nope. because we got super hot weather after that, especially for Montana. And now we're having fires all over. Do you guys have fires where you live? If you don't, you're super lucky. Right now, while I'm filming, filming this, the Maui fire is going on, and that, oh, that's just so heartbreaking. Okay. These shed a lot. In fact, I should get my little comb and comb out all of the loose stuff. Once you start cutting on these, there is loose stuff. All right. So now I'm going to put just a bead along the top and straight down the middle. And I'm gonna put it right over that. Boy, this is heavy. I mean, heavier than pill bottles. Put it right there over, right up at the top under that hat. And then I did not grab. See, I think I've got everything in my number two. Let me grab, where are they? My pom-poms for noses. 
And these little ones, I'm going to see, because sometimes these tiny ones look good. Sometimes I need the ones that I usually use for hands. So let's see. I'm going to have to put some ribbon or something here because it's that hat needs a little something. But we'll, whoops, I just threw one. Yeah, we need the bigger one. For this little guy, we'll use the little one. But I think gnomes, gnomes' noses should be pretty big. Uh, I've got a... <coughs> oh, excuse me. There I go again. I'm going to grab a paper towel and get that string off my glue gun. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn this off for a second, and I'm going to go find some ribbon or something, and I'll be right back. Well, I did it again. I hit photo instead of video, so I made this little guy, and it was on photo. So that's what he turned out like. He'll be better in the picture at the end, but I'll show you how I did it with this one. And I know, yep, I just looked, and it is on video. <laughs> so... This one I'm going to do with a fall theme, just total fall theme, no sunflowers. Ah, and I realized when I was doing the video earlier, when I do things like this, you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna to try to do more of this. So to fill in that space, I don't know, let me try something. I put batting on the other one, but I'm thinking I might want to not do that this time. It might, he looks so square in the back um, that it might look better if I do it this way. So let me just, I just measure like this. I don't really need to go, I don't really need to cover the whole front because the beard is going to cover the seam and anything that I don't cover. But just to make it easy, I probably will. So I want to bring it all the way up here. Yeah, if I do that, then maybe maybe it'll look a little bit better. And I'm trying to think, maybe if I did, let's try this. I'm just experimenting with you. <laughs> oh, I've got it way too, way too wide, don't I? Yeah, what did I do? I don't know. I think I was going the other way, but we'll just do it this way. I'm having one of those brain dead weeks. <laughs> um, I've been struggling with long-term COVID effects and it seems like my energy level is getting better, but I do notice like last week I, I had a really busy week. I had something going on every day and usually I try not to do that because that affects me. I mean, when I say something, sometimes it was only an hour appointment, but it really made a difference for me after COVID. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that, like it's a little collar. Anyway, I didn't seem to have the energy problems that I thought I was going to this week because I was so busy last week, but I definitely have that COVID brain thing going on. Ugh, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to glue just a little bit at a time so I can glue it like it's over his shoulders. And yeah, then it looks like shoulders. So I should have done that on the other one, but live and learn, right? Oh, out of glue. Let me just get this part and I'll get some more glue. Okay. If you haven't seen this trick, put a tiny bit of glue on and when you stick it in, then the glue stick doesn't go flying away. I don't know if you have that problem, but I always have that problem. <laughs> glue stick will just fly right out of my hot glue gun. It's getting a little wrinkled looking, but I don't think that's a problem because half the time we have wrinkles in our shirts anyway, right? Okay, this is, it's not going on as straight as I wanted it to, so let me... Let me see if I can pull it off and try again. Oof. Oh, it's peeling it's peeling the label off. <laughs> oh, it's okay. 
Let me see here. I think I need to glue it along the top first so I can get it on as straight as possible. Oh, somebody must be, might be daddy home. <laughs> my, my dog sounds so vicious and he would be vicious if anyone was coming that he doesn't know. But he just goes crazy when people he knows come to visit. In fact, when I have I had a friend come over today and I have to hold him back because he gets so excited he won't even let him in the door. But he's growling at me and he's terrifying looking. She didn't know if she should come in or not. But he just wanted to go and say hi and he was mad at me. But he looks scary, let me tell you. I know if someone came who was a stranger that it would be scary, especially if he thought they were going to hurt me. My husband and I kind of play around sometimes and if, if Yuki thinks he's attacking me or going to hurt me, then he starts growling. I'm gonna leave this a little long because I'm gonna fold it up like I did at the top. But Yuki will run over and doesn't bite him, doesn't break the skin, but he definitely lets him know, don't you mess with my mom. Which is weird because he absolutely loves his dad, but he's not going to let anybody hurt me. Okay. Let's see if I can... We'll see if I can do this without making a mess. I should have hemmed it before I put it on. But I'm kind of creating as I go. Okay, I want it right at the bottom of the bottle. Okay, Oop, that part cooled off. If you don't move fast, these are low, I think this is a low temp gun. Yep, and it cools off really fast. There we go. A little bit more glue right there. Okay, like I say, the, the beard will cover this. The nose will cover this. Okay, I am going to do this color beard. I really like this, and I think it'll be cute for fall. All right, so this is a smaller one. I'm just going to measure about where I want it to go. And... Let's see, I think I already, I can't remember which part was on the video that I thought I was shooting when I was doing pictures, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, the beard was on the part that actually did get a video. Ugh, I can't believe I, I did that. I'm trying to get ahead on my videos because I've got some busy weeks coming up. And I did it yesterday. Oops, you know what I did? I, yep, it's okay though. I forgot to check which way the fur was going. I was cutting it the wrong way, but it's going to work. I just am going to have to trim part of it off because it's too wide now. Sometimes I have trouble talking and crafting at the same time. Okay, I'm just combing out all of the loose stuff because there's a lot of it. And I only want it to be about this big, so I'm just going to cut off that. And that gives me enough to do another little pill bottle gnome with this other side. And get my scissors under there. Come on. Okay. Comb it out again. Look at all that. Kind of like my hair some days. My hair's been coming out, not by the handfuls, but more than usual since I got my perm. I think my head is still adjusting to the perm. Okay, well, I don't even have to measure. That's right in the middle. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of round this beard a little bit. If I can do it without cutting all the way through. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think I need a different pair of scissors. Let's try these. These have paint all over them. Okay, I'm gonna go to here. 
think I'm going to start up here. Now this is on the edge, so it's got kind of a weird texture, but it's not... Well, maybe it is going to show. Yeah, I think it is. So I'm just going to trim that off. Oh, yep, Dad's home. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the dog. He's going crazy. Okay. I don't think I need to save those. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to have a bunch of fur coming out. Maybe not. Okay. Now put a oops. Fur flying all over. So if I start sneezing, that's what I'm dealing with. Put a little hem at the top. Depending on what kind of a gnome you're making, you don't have to do this, but if that top is going to be showing like this one will. I always put a little hem so that there's a nice edge. Ugh. Okay. Oh, this beard is not very long. So I'm going to have to put some here. What I'm going to do is cut this straight. I'm going to make it look like there's a little, like it's supposed to be this way. So I'll make a little, it's already got a hem. I'll make a little hem this on either side. Ah, my goo gun got stuck under my mat. I'll do it this way. I may have a problem at the bottom. Oh, this is going to be more than long enough, so I'm going to cut that hem off. It's definitely going to make it harder to hem these. With crafting, you can almost always fix a mistake. Not always, but oops. Except I don't think I'm making this wide enough now. <laughs> cool. Let me see. Nope. Nope, I am not. So we're going to start over. I was thinking about maybe putting another color there, but I think I don't think I'm going to. All right. Okie dokie. I don't need it that long. Okay. Ah. Blue guns dripping again. I had, at one time, I had a bunch from the Dollar Tree that, I'm sorry, I hope I haven't been going out of frame. I tend to get closer to me and forget that I'm out of frame. Anyway, I was using Dollar Tree glue guns, and they, I mean, they would just, you could watch them just pour the glue out. So we went through way too many glue sticks. And then they did do a recall. I guess some of them had started on fire. I was like, whoops, but they gave me, they gave, and they, let's see, they, I bought them when they were a dollar. When they did the recall, they were $1.25. And even though I told them I got them when they were a dollar, they said, nope, we're going to give you $1.25 for each one. I was like amazed. Okay. Okay, so I've got to make my hem the same size. Okay. Bother. <laughs> bother, bother, bother. It didn't take. There we go. All right, I am going to, let's see now, I wanna see, do I want it this way or do I want it this way? I think I want it this way, actually. Okay, so, boy, that's still not staying. Yowza, 
about glued it onto my hand. Okay, I'm going to put it with this going up this way, and then maybe it'll look like, I don't know, like a, a jacket or something that's supposed to do that. So I'm going to glue down the bottom first so I have it lined up. And then just glue all the way up, trim it down a little. The beard will cover it up at the top. I've got fuzz, beard fuzz all over the place. Okay, get that glue off my fingers so I'm coordinated, sort of. Oh, I think he's going to be really cute. All right. So we're going to glue the beard right up under the hat, as close to the top of the hat as I can get. Centering it on that piece that I just put in. So it looks like that's the front of his jacket or something. And I'm going to, I wonder if I can get this little, I think I can get this little patch off because I'm gonna glue this hat up a little bit. So now, do I want it to go up right in front, to the side? Yeah, to the side, I like to the side. And that I am probably gonna to have to hold for a minute. While I'm doing that, I'm going to glue the, the patch right back on there. go. And now just to make sure, I'm going to put a little extra glue up at the top of that beard so it's right under the hat and nothing's going to be showing. Hmm. I've got a little bit of the edge showing here. I think I'm going to kind of make a hem. It's going to be not quite a hem, but just to get that so it's not showing. What's this side? Yeah, same thing here. Just kind of turn that under a little bit. There we go. Okay, now my noses. I thought I had a nose out for him. I'm sure I did, but it probably rolled around. <laughs> so... I think the little nose is going to be too small. Well, maybe not, but where's my other ones? Yeah, I got to get some of these projects done so I don't have so many sitting here. Okay. Whoops. It fell right out of my hand. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I kind of like the big nose. Okay, so we're going to do a big nose. Now let me get his beard centered here so I can get the nose in the right spot. Right in the center. Now the other guy did a couple of little hands because he just, because he was so square, he just needed something. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. But I don't think I'm going to do that with him. I don't know. We'll see. So I have some acorns. And what else do I have? I have this little scarecrow that he could be holding. I have candy corn. What else do I have? Ugh. Another little scarecrow. That one's more the right size. All right, let's put this scarecrow on there and then we'll see if we want to do hands. Acorns are too big. 
Okay, I am Sometimes if you glue something to the fur, it doesn't really stick very well, but let's see what happens. If I push down, maybe that glue will go all the way through the fur to the felt. And now do I want, whoops. Let me grab two of these and see. Yeah, I think if I just glue them, it will look like little hands. Like he's holding it. Now, do I want something more on his hat? What do I have in here? Don't have all my fall stuff out yet. I don't think I have any little tiny leaves. How about, let's try one of these. I don't know if we, no. That doesn't look cute. He may just be done. Because I don't think anything else I have is too big. Alright, so there he is. <laughs>